Tomlinson, and this is Before Midnight. April Fools, it's after midnight, idiots. We got you. Let's meet tonight's panelists. He's a comedian, writer, and actor. You can see headline the Pittsburgh Improv on April 12th. It's Jordan Fisher. I'm Jordan Fisher. I love the smooth, refreshing taste of Coca-Cola. This is a sponsored ad. I just made $4. you've seen on The Late Late Show and can see headlining Zanies in Chicago on May 1st, it's Zach Zimmerman. Hi, everybody. This is so exciting. Today is actually my mom's birthday. Aww. Yes, I want to wish her a happy 70th, Patty. I love you. Jeez. Thank you. She is actually 60, and I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> And finally, she's a comedian and actor you can see in Amazon Step Aside and at her Mic Drop show in San Diego on April 6th. It's Arden Marine. Hi. Fun fact, my name Arden is short for Olive Garden. Oh. <laughs> After Midnight starts now. Okay, panelists, it's April Fool's Day, so it's about to get twisted. Today, you're all playing for my job. Oh! That's not a prank. Whoever wins will legally become the host of this show. This is the contract. Oh! Wow. Yeah, apparently I signed it once. <laughs> all right, good luck. Now it's time for the group chat. Oh! Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. In Yeehaw news, Beyonce dropped a country album on Friday. Yeah. 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 And the New York Post did their best to cause an uproar by posting this clickbait headline, Beyonce revives a dying genre Ooh. on instantly timeless country album, Cowboy Carter. Calling country music a dying genre? Page six, are you trying to get the Capitol stormed again? <laughs> Panelists, what's a headline that could make country fans even angrier? <laughs> Zach. God unveils 11th commandment, beer, sin. <laughs> Arden. Dolly Parton to get breast reduction surgery. <laughs> Jordan. Mexicans. <laughs> Wines come in reds, whites, and now greens. My Mountain Dew wine is finally complete, and now it's time to bottle. So over the last few weeks, we've all been patiently waiting for this to finish fermenting and clarify. And now, as you can see, this is crystal clear with a beautiful bright green color. Wow. We've, we've all been waiting for wow. that. Wow. This guy made wine out of Mountain Dew. Take that, Jesus. <laughs> a wine that pairs nicely with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Comedians, as a sommelier, give me the flavor profile of this Mountain Dew wine. Arden. It is the perfect pairing for when you're on an elegant date with your first cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Zach. It looks like urine. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like urine. Yes. It tastes like a feces. <laughs> That's a great accent. That's a good accent. Thank Very well Thank done. You. Jordan. It pairs well. I'm stealing your bit. Okay. It, <laughs> it pairs well with a DUI on an ATV vehicle. <laughs> Do you have a friend, Jordan? Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's hard. I mean. <laughs> After all, my name is Jordan. <laughs> it is, it's French. It is true. I mean, it's let's French. be clear, my mom is black and bougie, but this is <laughs> French. <laughs> March Madness, which I'm told is a basketball tournament, is down to the final four teams. We've got red uniform, <laughs> other red uniform, dog mask, 
mascot and what appears to be the Purdue Fighting Jay Leno's? <laughs> <laughs> After their win over Tennessee this past weekend, Purdue star player Zach Eady called out all the coaches who overlooked him in high school. There were so many coaches that, that looked over me. Um, like, you could name a program, I could name a coach that looked over me. Um, the Tennessee, Craig Barnes is a great coach, but he, he was in a bunch of our practice, looked over me. Like, it, it's kind of been the story of my life. People have doubted me, people look past me, and can't do that anymore. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Name names. I love it. I do too. I like Man, that. guys have it so easy. They get to be upset that old men didn't watch them in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Panelists, you have a national platform. Send a message to somebody who doubted you in high school. Oh. Jordan. To the math teacher that told me I wouldn't always have a calculator in my pocket. Guess what? <laughs> I do, and if a woman asks me politely, sometimes I'll use that calculator to send her a picture of my penis. Wow. <laughs> That's a cool calculator. Only if she asks politely. Politely. Yeah. <laughs> Zach. Larry Van Daventer, oh, oh, AKA yeah. Mr. V, directors of the, director of the Colonel's Theater Company. You cast me as an understudy, yes. as chief in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, yes. but the joke's on you. I shouldn't have been playing an indigenous psychiatric <laughs> patient to begin with. <laughs> I'm not indigenous, and I'm not mentally ill. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm all fired up for my earlier French lessons, so <laughs> Mr. James, or should I say Monsieur Le James? <laughs> Middlesex School, you gave me a D and begged me never to take French again, but je, 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 je suis sur la télévision maintenant, Monsieur Le Jame. Et s'il vous plaît, je voudrais une picture de la pépé. <laughs> in being too much. Children's music star Jojo Siwa got a car with her face plastered all over it. Wow. Yeah, this, look, this is fine. It's not as cool as the Taylor Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I did not make this, but I can't wait to be thrown in the back of it someday. <laughs> You would think that having your face all over your car would make you want to drive better, but once again, Jojo Siwa defies the odds. Jojo Siwa cutting us off on Sunset Boulevard. Jojo Siwa doing us I'm having trouble imagining someone so bubbly being rude in traffic. I mean, this is what she sounds like. Hey, everyone, it's Jojo. Welcome back to Jojo's Record with Ziggle. Where's that? It's like if toxic positivity was an accent. <laughs> so comedians, give me your impression of Jojo Siwa having road rage. <laughs> Zach. Hey everybody, it's Jojo Siwa. You cut me off, bitch. <laughs> and bitch, not in the gay way, but in the misogynistic way. <laughs> Pretend to be JoJo. Oh, you were I'm just so doing sorry. That is how I drove here. That is how I drove here. That is me. Yes, no. yes. The medication hasn't kicked in yet. Yes, yes. yes. I still gave you five stars. Thank you. <laughs> Jordan and Arden are tied for first with a thousand points. Yeah.